Oh, hi. So, been here again. So, let me get you caught up since the last time I saw you at my graduation party. That was great. Thank you, family. Um, and everybody else that showed up. That was uh, still probably one of the best days of my life, honestly. <laughs> um, since then, I have started uh, with the company that I got a job with as a blade repair tech. Uh, I was in Gainesville, Texas. Uh, for three weeks. So two weeks, the first two weeks of that was actually uh, kind of going over certain certifications and stuff that uh, my school had actually helped me get. But this was a little more thorough and actually more uh, centralized to what they are going to need out of me. So it was really great, you know, to have to, uh, to, to have a just a better feel for what I was going to be actually doing, you know, um, you know, and so that was great. And you know, so three weeks there, got to live in the hotel life, which, yeah, look at that. It's, you know, not always the most glamorous thing, but at least I've got an Xbox. Yay! Um, and the internet kind of works. But, um, so today, where I'm at right now, was actually my first day on site, um, which was great, you know, and man, it was just, it was like this magical moment. And it was like, I was like, you know, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Like walking up to a spaceship or something like that. These things do look bizarre when you get the closer you get, you know, the turbines. Um, but um, and they're huge. They're they're so much bigger than I thought that I was actually going to be working on it first. You know, I thought it was, I don't I don't know. I, I, I just the scale of it all was just you know was different in my head. But wow, these things are huge. Definitely the one of the, <laughs> the nacelle that, that I saw on the ground was bigger than this this whole hotel room. You know. Um, <laughs> so they're like little mini apartments up there or something. But um, one really cool thing on this on this side was that I saw a hub. Uh, uh, they're building, they're still building towers out there, and so uh, which I did get to see them actually construct a tower. That was pretty cool. All the way, uh, like from the base, uh, you know, they put on the sections and they actually put on the the, uh, the cell on top. Didn't get to see them attach the hub with the blades, but they had it on the ground, and so I got to kind of climb up inside one of those and uh, you know actually finally see what one of these things are firsthand up close and personal, you know, it wasn't up in the air yet. I haven't climbed yet, but you know, that, that day is coming. Uh, so it's great. So I'm having a blast and I'm sure that as I get into this more, I'll have more to share. I have to be real careful with, uh, you know, taking videos and stuff like that. Um, I actually on site come to find out, you know, so it's going to be a little bit hard to share some things, but, you know, I will do what I can as I can without getting any trouble. <laughs> um, so now that we're all caught up, I, I, I kind of want to take a moment to address some of the comments, uh, you know, that people are questions that people have asked me, you know, which always feel free. You know, if anybody is actually watching these videos, you know, and has a question of, something that maybe I can help you out with or kind of point you in the right direction, feel free to ask me, you know, um, it's, especially with this new lifestyle of mine, I'm not really around, you know, much people that I know. So, you know, I'd be more than happy to have conversations with anybody and just kind of fill them in, you know, um, you know, for anything you want to know. So yeah, feel free. Boom. Uh, you know, but, um, I wanted to, uh, some people have asked about school and the importance of it. So is school worth it? Short answer for me, yes. Uh, for some, maybe not. I don't know. You know, um, I definitely think that it was crucial for me to have that experience. Um, especially after the year I just had, you know, I wanted, uh, I wanted to jump into it and I didn't want to half-ass anything. So I definitely think if you're not going to half-ass your new career choice, you know, and, and, and education is possible, do it. Why wouldn't you, you know, um, because of when I went, I went right in the, right in the thick of the bug, <coughs> you know, so, uh, it, it wasn't as, um, a thorough of a, an experience as I'm sure this school usually can provide, you know, ended up going to Northwest Renewable Energy Institute. Everybody there was great. You know, I made some, uh, uh relationships, you know, some friends that I'm going to have, um, you know, for the rest of my life. And I'll be really happy to see their success as they're on their journey in this industry as well. You know, um, so everybody's really nice, but you know, unfortunately we just didn't have 
all the resources or the ability to really have the quote unquote school experience that I thought I was going to get. It's okay because what it did, you know, um, on this unique experience that, that we all did have together kind of forced us all to, uh, really have conversations within ourselves, or uh, you know, within the class that is, and, um, you know, uh, kind of really figure out where everybody was, you know, uh, why they were there in the first place, you know, so that was fun to be around like-minded people that, you know, have really just kind of found themselves going to this industry, uh, during this time in, in our lives, you know, and, um, you know, it was, it was, uh, it was really interesting, you know, uh, to hear some of the, some of the whys, you know, that, um, uh, that I was able to get out of people. And, um, you know, so that, that part of school was really, was really, was really great. And it's going to be really cool to see people that I went to school with out in the field here and there, you know what I mean? Uh, shit. One of the guys, uh, actually, uh, uh works for the same company, just a different site. He, he started today too. Um, you know, um, so I mean, so that, that part was really cool. I'm glad that I went, the education that I got, uh, was, was adequate, you know? Uh, and like I said, normally I think it's a little bit better. I just, you know, it was, you know, that, that's online zoom class stuff was just, you know, just, it was made it difficult to learn, but you know, we were able to overcome it. And I'm glad that I was at least having these conversations about this industry you know, made me Google things on my own, do my own research, you know, to come up with my own kind of solutions for problems that I could see myself having, you know, by going this path. And, you know, so the farther I got into it, the more I was able to um, figure out if it was even the thing that I really wanted to do, you know, uh, other than just the excitement of doing it in the first place, you know, um, and school really helped out. Now, the most important thing that I think school, um, for this industry, you know, so renewable energy school, wind energy school, whatever, you know, whatever place you end up going to, whatever they call themselves. Um, I went to Northwest Renewable Energy Institute because whenever I was looking them up online, I, uh, they had a 95% job placement. And so that spoke volumes to me, especially compared to a lot of other schools that, that I could have gone to. Um, and boy, did they live up to it, you know, um, uh, uh, probably like the last month and a half of the program, all, they were just continuously introducing us, uh, to companies, you know, looking for all different areas, uh, you know, which really kind of broadened my idea of what was even available. I, uh, I, I initially blade repair was something I, I wanted to do from the moment I even considered this career. Uh, I saw somebody doing rope access, blade repair on uh, offshore, hey, dangling over the water. And I was like, fuck, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but um, anyway, though, um, you know, it's it, it, so I, I didn't know if that was something that was going to be available to me or not, you know, but um, uh, they introduced the company I, I work for. They did a presentation for us and uh, they they definitely showed me the way, you know, showed me that that was exactly what I wanted to do. You know, and this company had all the, they were just saying all the right things. And now that I'm in it, you know, I'm, uh, I can, I can tell you that it's exactly what I thought it would be, you know, so that's good. You know, uh, a lot of other companies, you know, I actually applied for quite a few. Um, uh, me personally, I, I actually got offers from a few, few different places. Um, you know, uh, and it's, it's, it's a great industry for options like that, you know, um, you know, you can kind of track your own, you know, progress, you know, you can kind of figure out which, which direction you want to go. And I wanted the specialized training that this company that I'm with provides uh, with uh, blade repair. So I'm happy that I did it, you know, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my school, you know, so is school important. I think that's going to be up to you whether or not, you know, it's, uh, uh, you have that kind of mind frame, you know, for me, I had to relearn how to learn, you know, and, uh, I wanted the experience really bad. And so I made it a good one for myself, you know, which is something that you, mo everyone has to do in most areas in life. You know, things are only going to be as good as you allow them to be. And I made this, I made this experience. I was not going to accept failure, <laughs> you know, and, uh, even with all the obstacles in my way, I made it through and here I am and I couldn't be happier. 
So I would say for anybody that has, um, you know, uh, any questions about is this right for them, you know, really figure out what you're trying to accomplish, you know, and is school right for you? Um, I think that the benefits of school definitely outweigh, um, you know, just the, you know, the ease of getting into a company because sometimes get the ease of getting into a company means $5 difference. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, per hour. Um, and so, you know, these, these companies, they want, they want people that are dedicated and going to school and making that leap, you know, and completing the program and all that, I mean, definitely shows your dedication. And so they're going to be more likely to want to hire somebody like that. You know, uh, also, you know, even though it might not be all of the experience that you're looking for going to school with hands on stuff like that, it's probably just kind of like window shopping, you know, education on this stuff, uh, for the most part, <laughs> um, you're still going to be more knowledgeable than most just coming off the street. So, um, I definitely recommend it. So anyway, I think I take up, took up enough of your time, you know, and, uh, I'm going to enjoy my super awesome hotel room. <laughs> and uh you know get some rest and prepare for my second day on the site so um if anybody has any questions you know reach out to me you know i'll be more than happy to uh to to reply and uh, answer any questions that i can you know thanks for watching everybody and um i'll have more to share very very soon all right bye